when it comes to burgers and ground beef, we find that it tastes a lot better and it's a lot more affordable to grind your own meat. Now this is just a big chunk of chuck roast from the local grocery store and it's gonna give us like triple the amount of ground beef for a fraction of the cost as a grocery store. Don't be intimidated by a meat grinder. They sell them attachments for your KitchenAid, freestanding ones, all sorts of them. They're very easy to use. Our seven year old can grind meat. Um, and like we said, it tastes so much better. So let's show you how to do it. I'm gonna cut a chunk. And now you want the meat very cold or even partially frozen you could use when you make burgers. The colder the better to grind. And we're gonna shove it in there. for burgers. Time for burgers. Yum. We can't wait. And when you're grinding beef, you always want to make sure you grind it through twice. It just gives you better flavor and texture. And then also, don't be afraid to use different variations. You can use sirloin. We've done brisket. We do a mixture sometimes of half bacon, half sirloin. Kind of have fun with it and make your own combinations up as you go. Well, that's it for today. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.